Next up, we have Matt Bouchard, who has been traveling the last week. He just got back. Do you mind if I stay somewhere? Do you mind if I stay somewhere? Oh, yeah. He just got back from Miami and flew down from Aroostook County to be with us today. So welcome, Matt. And Matt is going to share the story of how Momentum Aroostook and the broader Realize Maine network brings together young professionals for fun, professional support, and the sense of belonging to regional and statewide communities. Please welcome Matt Bouchard, Risk Management and Compliance Director with MMG Insurance in Presque Isle. Thanks, oh, thanks Gabby. <clears throat> So first, Adela, when you find your way all the way up the turnpike, that's where you're going to find us. Uh, <laughs> and uh, quite a bit of difference in temperature between Miami and Maine right now, just if, in case anybody was wondering. Um, so if, if you don't know what, if you're not familiar with what Realize Maine is or Momentum Arusik, uh, Realize Maine is a product or a project under the Maine Development Foundation um, designed to facilitate a network uh, for young professional groups to really to network. Um, and Momentum Aroostook was born out of a need. Um, and the need was shared collectively from businesses, uh, organizations, and community members alike that um, really sought to combat trends of out-migration, uh, but also to look at um, retention and attraction efforts for young professionals or, or really anybody um, that sought to move to our area and also uh, who could potentially come to our area. Um, in many respects, we look at ourselves as having a very welcoming and tight-knit community. Um, but in that same breath, and holding some facilitated dis discussions, we realize that that's, that's actually a barrier um, for those who come into our communities from really feeling um, or finding those roots to settle down in the community and, and feeling that sense of belonging. Um, <clears throat> if in some of the feedback we got was where you'd go to some events or networking events, in tight-knit communities, people tend to stick to the flock that they already know, uh, and that barrier is there. You don't really feel like going up to people and saying, hey, you know, I'm not from here. Um, so we started Momentum. Uh, and, well, actually, on that same topic, my personal experience was I, I used to work for the Department of Defense. Uh, we have a large agency in Aroostook County um, that does finance and accounting service for the Air Force. And so my network was really broad across the country, but I was so walled off from my own community uh, just by the nature of the work and, and how everything was set up. And these types of events, networking, didn't really happen by themselves. Um, so we started Momentum. And when we did that, um, it wasn't created as a fix-all. It was created strictly as a mechanism to, to facilitate the development of those professional networks for young professionals and, um, and, and to raise awareness, really, of what the community has to offer and how you can get involved and how your significant others can get involved and become part of the community. Um, and we became a member of the Realize Maine Network, um, which at the time, I believe, had six or seven like groups across the state, um, all with the shared goal of, of, of promoting Maine and uh, building networks for young professionals. Uh, and so personally, I, I can't speak for everybody, but. I grew, you know, personally, I, a lot of fellowship involved in working with those groups, and I learned from uh, quite a few people in this room, actually, um, as we worked together to figure out and share ideas on, on things that we could do in our own respective communities. Um, and what, I, one great example of that is uh, Lewis and Auburn used to do a, a 40 under 40 event that they do annually, and I think it's, I think it's finest under 40 now, so a little bit rebranded, but uh, we took that, customized it for our own area, uh, we had the Aroostook Achievers event we held in 2019 first, and we had to stop registration at 200. And I don't know who's been to the county, but there's not many events that have 200 people um, at any typical point in time. So it was very successful, uh, just celebrating the successes of people who were or bettering their communities. And um, through COVID, and even though that was a challenge to hold those events, we still pushed through and, and held one. Um, again, not 200, because we just couldn't sit people that close together, but... Um, we added some categories, too, of, of who really helped push a rustic through COVID. Um, and one example of that was um, there's a lady in Fort Kent who has a small diner 
And instead of closing, like she thought she would through COVID, um, she re she, they mailed like a, a bucket of whoopie pies to a friend in Portland who posted it on Facebook. It went viral, and then they transformed their whole organization just to make whoopie pies. And uh, they, they sent them to all 50 states and kept the doors open and didn't have to lay anybody off, which, um, I mean, isn't that a terrific story for you know, a business trying to make it through COVID? Um, so basically, in short, um, the, the networks that we try to create, I mean, they're really the lifeblood of our communities, if you think about it. It takes all singular trains of thought and it forms a common uh, uh, a collective intelligence that we use to keep going forward. Uh, and that's really what we're aiming to do. Uh, and so at the back table, there are some, um, some save the date cards. I, I, I challenge you all to take a look at trying to find a way to connect to some of these groups, uh, seek them out on the Realize Main, Net uh, Realize Main Network page under the MDF page. Um, you can find all the groups and what they're trying to do, um, trying to connect with business communities. There's a save the date for a magnetized main event, which is gonna be held on October 20th in Waterville. Um, and it's, it's really not only to address some of the key topics and issues, you, you can explore Waterville, uh, learn from some great speakers, but also um, it's to showcase the area. Um, and that's why we try to rotate this type of event around every couple of years. So that's all I have. Thank you.